Now, the world's largest nuclear fusion reactor has been switched on in Germany. It's used to fuse atomic particles together at extremely high temperatures. Something huge just happened in Germany, and it has every energy company on the planet paying close attention. A machine that looks like it belongs inside a science fiction. Starship has just pushed nuclear fusion closer to reality than anyone expected. It achieved something scientists believed was still many years away, and the result has shaken the entire global energy industry. If you care about clean energy, climate change, or the future of power, what happened here matters. Germany has shown that fusion is no longer a distant dream. It is becoming real, and the countdown to commercial fusion has officially begun. The 43-second breakthrough in the quiet town of Grewald, the Wendelstein 7X reactor achieved a milestone that sent shockwaves through the scientific world. It held superheated plasma hotter than the core of the sun for 43 seconds. That amount of time may feel short, but in fusion research, it is astonishing. In the past, many reactors struggled to maintain fusion conditions for even a fraction of a second before the plasma collapsed. This moment stands out because the reactor maintained what scientists call the triple product. The plasma stayed dense enough, hot enough, and stable long enough to support fusion reactions. It is the scientific equivalent of juggling a three flaming torches while riding a bicycle. And Germany managed to keep all three in perfect balance. The Max Planck Institute confirmed the achievement and emphasized how difficult it is to hold a miniature star inside a magnetic cage without letting it escape or destabilize. The longer the plasma stays stable, the closer fusion gets to becoming a real energy source. 43 seconds prove that technology has crossed a threshold. It shows that sustained fusion is not only possible but repeatable, and that changes everything, because stability is the ultimate currency of fusion. Why the Stellarator beat the Tokamak? For decades, the fusion world was dominated by Tokamak reactors, which are donut-shaped machines that rely on internal plasma. Currents to help confine the superheated gas, major global projects have invested billions into Tomex. They remain powerful machines, but they face limits that no amount of funding can fully remove. Because tokamaks rely on electrical currents running through the plasma, the reaction becomes unstable. It cannot run continuously, meaning it must operate in pulses. For commercial power, that is a major disadvantage. You cannot power a nation with a machine that turns on and off like a heartbeat. Stellarata takes a very different approach. Instead of relying on the plasma to generate part of the magnetic field, it uses a network of external coils shaped into twisted three-dimensional curves. Each coil directs the plasma like a rail guiding a train, keeping it aligned and stable without depending on internal currents. The engineering behind this is extremely complex. Wendelstein 7X contains 50 superconducting coils and each one had to be built with millimeter precision using advanced simulations and specialized manufacturing tools. The result is a machine that can in theory run continuously without the sudden collapses that plague tokamak. Germany's 43 second run proved that this theory is grounded in reality. The plasma remained calm, the magnetic fields held firm, and the Stellarator design showed why it may be the preferred architecture for building full-scale fusion power plants, the pellet system that changed everything. The record run was made possible thanks to a remarkable system known as pellet injection. Fusion reactions burn through fuel extremely fast. Without a steady supply, the plasma cools and collapses. During the breakthrough experiment, the reactor fired around 90 tiny frozen hydrogen pellets into the superheated plasma. Each pellet was like a small ice grain, but it carried precious fuel that kept the reaction alive. The trick is that these pellets must survive a journey through some of the most extreme temperatures in the universe. They travel at supersonic speeds, slipping through magnetic fields and vaporizing at precisely the right moment so that the plasma absorbs them evenly. If a pellet enters at the wrong angle, the entire plasma can destabilize and collapse in an instant. The timing has to be perfect. Germany's system worked flawlessly. It showed that fusion fuel can be delivered in a steady, controlled rhythm, allowing long-duration plasma runs without sudden burnout. This is one of the least glamorous but most critical breakthroughs in the entire fusion story. Commercial reactors cannot rely on lucky bursts of stability. They need constant fuel delivered safely and consistently. And pellet injection gives fusion exactly that. Germany's 2 billion bet on fusion.
Germany is now approaching fusion, not as a laboratory experiment, but as the backbone of its future energy strategy. The government has approved a bold fusion action plan, backed by over 2 billion euros through 2029. Over a billion will directly support fusion research through 2028. This is not symbolic funding. It is a strategic investment in new facilities, upgraded reactors, and a growing network of startups, manufacturers, and research partners. Germany is also rewriting its radiation protection laws, since existing rules for nuclear fission do not apply to fusion. They want a legal blueprint for fusion plants before the first commercial reactor breaks ground. The political support behind this movement is wide, crossing multiple parties and driven by concerns over energy security. After recent disruptions to natural gas supplies, Germany is determined not to be dependent on foreign energy again. Fusion offers a path to independence because its fuel is abundant. Deuterium can be extracted from seawater, and tritium can be produced inside the reactor itself. Fusion produces no carbon emissions and drastically less radioactive waste than fishes. Germany also sees fusion as a massive economic opportunity. Building fusion reactors requires advanced engineering, high-precision manufacturing, and specialized materials. These align perfectly with Germany's strengths. By pushing hard now, Germany hopes to become the world's primary provider of fusion technology once the industry matures. The race to build the first working fusion plant, the fusion breakthrough has ignited a race among startups determined to build the first commercial reactor. Companies like Gauz, Fusion, Proxima Fusion, Marvel Fusion, and Focused Energy are at the center of this new wave. They have already raised significant funding and laid out aggressive time. Gauz Fusion recently released Europe's first complete engineering plan for a commercial fusion power plant. The project is expected to cost between 15 and 18 billion euros and aims to come online in the mid-2040s. Reactor is designed to run continuously using Stellarator technology. To deliver steady, reliable energy, Proxima Fusion is working on an optimized Stellarator design and wants to build demonstration plants in the early 2030s. Their goals are ambitious. But ambition is what fusion needs. Germany is listening closely, especially since startups are asking for 3 billion euros in public funding to accelerate pilot plants by 2030. One of the most symbolic moves is the plan to build a 1 gawatt fusion pilot plant at the former Biblis nuclear fishing site. The location already has a grid connection built for gigawatt scale power and a trained nuclear workforce ready for employment. Reusing this site blends practicality with symbolism. It represents the shift from old nuclear to new nuclear, from safety risk, from waste to sustainability. If the pilot plant operates successfully, it will prove that fusion is ready to contribute real power to the grid, not just scientific data. Can we really get fusion by the 2040s? The question many people ask is whether Germany can truly deliver commercial fusion by the mid-2040s, Fusion research has a long history filled with delays and exaggerated promises. But this time, the situation is different. Science is no longer a barrier. Wendelstein 7X has shown that plasma can be held stable for long periods using real hardware operating in real conditions. What remains are engineering challenges, and engineering problems can be solved with enough focus, money, and talent. Future reactors must operate for months or even years without shutdown. They must handle intense neutron bombardment without materials wearing out too fast. Tritium breeding systems must succeed because the world does not have enough tritium without reactors generating it internally. And of course, costs must fall as manufacturing becomes more efficient. These challenges are real but not impossible. Germany's aggressive timeline is not just a technical plan. It is a psychological strategy. Ambition attracts the world's best engineers. Bold goals bring in investors. Large targets inspire global collaboration. Even if deadlines shift, reaching fusion in the 2040s or early 2050s would still be a historic achievement. The old joke that fusion is always 50 years away no longer fits. Today, for the first time, the timeline feels real. Germany has reshaped the future of clean energy with one breakthrough experiment. A 43-second plasma run may sound small, but it proved that fusion is finally leaving the realm of theory and entering the world of real engineering. The Stellarator design worked. The fuel system performed flawlessly. Plasma remained stable long enough to matter. With major funding, strong political support, 
and a growing industry of innovators, Germany is moving fast toward a world where fusion could power cities. If successful, fusion will rewrite global energy rules. And now, Germany is at the forefront of that revolution. Asterisk, asterisk, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. If you enjoyed this deep dive, please smash that like button, share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll never miss a future update. We've got a lot more exciting tech stories coming your way. Until next time, stay curious, stay inspired, and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.